All right, congratulations. Welcome to day 11 of your 30-day yoga challenge. I'm Melissa, and today we're going to be doing some yoga for back pain. Um, about 30 million Americans suffer from back pain at some point in their lives, so it's important to know when you do have back pain how we can modify our postures. Okay, so when we get back pain, it can be caused by lots of things. It can be caused by tight hamstrings, it can be postural, it can be from stress. So first we're gonna come into child's pose. Take your knees wide, bring your pinky toes together, bring your forehead down toward the floor, and focus on your breathing. So as you're here, I want you to let your forehead melt down in toward your mat. Listen to the sound of your breath. And see if you can let yourself relax a little. Let your shoulders get heavy and your hips get heavy. And we start by de-stressing our body, by focusing on our breath and letting everything just relax. Then start to lift yourself up. Walk your hands in. Now we'll separate our feet so they're about hip distance apart. Our knees will come underneath our hip bones and our wrists are directly underneath our shoulders. So sometimes we make the mistake of coming in out here. We're gonna stack our bones, shoulders over the wrists, knees or hip bone distance apart, okay? So here, draw your navel in. We want a nice long spine. And then we'll start to articulate our spine with a little cat-cow. So from the bottom of your spine, you'll tuck your tailbone round your back. And again, work from the bottom of your spine to come all the way up. Let your shoulder blades slide down your back. So I want you just to move with your breath. You're doing whatever feels good for your body today. But we're creating movement in our spine. We're releasing any tension in our neck and shoulders, around our sacrum and our lower back. And we're working through these different pelvic positions. So I'm also releasing the muscles around my glutes. So you can do about 10 to 20 of them if that feels good. And we'll just do one more. Okay, and then come back to neutral. So really draw your navel in. Your head is nice and long. You'll take your right hand underneath your nose and reach your left arm up toward the sky. So now we're adding some rotation. We're opening up the front of our body. Sometimes if you're a little tired. And then take that hand down toward the floor. Okay, so your left hand underneath your nose, get nice and long in your spine. Reach your right arm up toward the sky, look toward your thumb, and breathe. With every exhale, you're twisting a little bit more. Lower your hand to the floor. Again, it comes right underneath your nose. Inhale, reach your left arm to the sky. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Take your hand down to the floor, left arm underneath your nose. Reach your right arm up toward the sky. Now keep squeezing your shoulder blades together. We want to open up the front of our bodies. Take your hand down toward the floor. Good, now fingers spread wide. The creases of your wrist are parallel to the front of your mat. Curl your toes and lift your hips up toward the sky. So in Downward Facing Dog, go ahead and pedal your heels. Just check in again. Notice where there's any tightness. You can even wiggle your hips from side to side. And then I want you to lift your heels up really high. Okay, so kind of getting, we're creating space actually between our sits bones. So I want you to spread your butt cheeks wide, lift those hips high, and then lower your heels back down toward the floor. So let's do that again. Lift those heels high, draw your belly in, and then lower your heels toward the floor. Now we're gonna bend our knees. So bend those knees, reach your rib cage back to your thigh bones. Again, draw your belly in. Straighten your legs, lower your heels toward the floor. Bend your knees. Reach your ribs toward your thighs. 
Straighten your legs, lower your heels toward the floor and just hold it here. Engage your quads a lot and draw your belly in. Take a few breaths. One more breath. And then drop your knees down toward the floor. Good, sit back, push into your child's pose. So extended child's pose, your arms will be out, or you can take your hands back if that feels better and round your back a little bit. It's almost like you're reaching your shoulder blades up toward the sky. Now crawl your hands forward. Come up into a plank. So I want your core to be really active and lower all the way down onto your belly. Okay, so once we're down onto our bellies, we'll do a little bit of back extension. So you can separate your feet. If your back is hurting, you'll probably want to separate your feet. So it's a modified locust pose. Okay, legs are not gonna be squeezing together. Take your hands by your side, palms facing up, and then let your shoulders really round. Now notice if you feel both of your hip bones down into the floor, you might only feel one, so there might be some rotation in your pelvis. I just want you to notice the alignment of your body. So with yoga, it's so much about awareness of who we are and what we are doing and how we relate to other people and how our, we relate to our bodies. So you're checking in. Does anything feel tight? And if it does, you can give a little shake, a little duck waddle. Okay, now squeeze your shoulder blades back in together. Lift your upper body up off the floor slightly. So I'm not doing too much. I'm working my upper back. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, but I'm not straining, and my glutes are still relaxed. So uh, everything around my sacrum stays nice and relaxed, and then release lower, okay? Squeeze your shoulder blades back in together. My hands stay on the floor. Lift up. You're in a slight hover, working your upper back muscles. So if it's postural things that are causing us lower back pain, this is what we have to do. We have to strengthen our upper back and strengthen our core. Release lower. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Lift up. Breathe. One. Two. Three. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades back, opening up your collarbone. Four. And five. Release lower down. One more time. Shoulder blades back. So you feel your chest open. Lift up. Now we leave our feet on the floor when there's lower back pain because I don't want to start clenching my glutes. I just want to strengthen my upper back muscles. And release lower down. Okay, now you'll take your hands out. We're making kind of a W. So my head and my arms make this W shape. My feet are staying exactly where they are. My glutes are still relaxed. Okay, so inhale as you just prepare your body. Exhale. And then inhale, lift up to a little hover. So now we're adding some more weight. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades back and together. You're still working your upper body. Two, breathe. Three, four, keep your neck nice and long so we don't want any sagging heads. And five, release lower down. You can bring one cheek to the floor, let everything relax. So it's important between these poses to kind of decompress. Okay, now squeeze your shoulder blades back, lift up, little hover. One, two, you're actively drawing your belly button up off of the floor and pushing your pubic bone into the mat. And five, release lower. You can bring your other cheek down toward the floor. Now we'll take our arms forward. Arms come forward, but slide your shoulder blades down. So we don't want them up by the ears. Keep them nice and relaxed. Help reduce some of the stress. Okay, now we'll lift our upper body up. My biceps stay next to my ears. I'm sliding my shoulder blades down. My upper back is working really hard, but my glutes aren't. I'm keeping my feet on the floor. Release lower. Good, inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift up. One. Two, so keep those shoulder blades down. Three, bend your elbows if you need to, if that feels better. Four. And five, release lower down. Slide those hands back in, round your back. 
So now we're counter stretching the work that we've done. Draw your chin in toward your chest and pull your belly in. It's a really active child's pose. Take one more breath and then roll from the bottom of your spine up. 